<laughs> celery. Celery, what on earth are you doing? Do you want tummy rubs? <gasps> Celery's laying an egg! You guys! Celery's laying an egg! What the heck? Am I interrupting with the tummy rubs? But it looks like we found a good itchy spot. Okay, I will stop. I will stop. Okay, lay egg! Oh my gosh! <gasps> Celery just laid an egg! Our dog just laid an egg, friends! This is so freaking exciting! Let's go ahead and collect that. Celery, I'm so proud of you! I didn't know that you were ready for such responsibilities. And somebody laid a capsule, you guys. <gasps> and now we have an iron fence! Celery, I'm even gonna praise you for barking. Uh, apparently you kicked yourself in the face with the moon boot. We'll not worry about that at the moment. But you guys! Hello and welcome back to Wobble Dogs, where our long boy Celery, who I am so freaking in love with, has just laid an egg. Also, I think that was peppermint. Yes, that was indeed peppermint just flying in the room. That's amazing. <laughs> but welcome back to our experiment in doggy DNA, gut genetics, and so many, um, very curious experiments of science that I am a little dubious on the ethics about, but enjoying, very much enjoying. <laughs> but welcome back everybody. So today I'm thinking we're gonna have to celebrate the fact that Celery laid an egg. That is so freaking cool. I really wanna see what happens if we go ahead and push the doggy breeding simulation, AKA the doggy genetics, as far as they can go down to level zero, because you guys have been letting me know that level zero is actually where the puffers will start looking really weird on the genetic stability uh, so we're gonna work on that today and I think we're gonna work on making celery a bigger place to play and providing more fruit so we want this el oh what the what was that what was that celery uh, apparently that was like a backflip of joy for the fact that there is now some alien fruit in here so apparently celery was a little hungry uh, okay we're gonna go ahead and keep the alien fruit coming because I think that this alien fruit might help our dogs become green. And I actually have a new master plan for what kind of puppers I want to create, you guys. I'm, I'm pretty excited. Oh, wait. What do you have in your mouth? Give. Tiny. Tiny give. What do you have? How do I, how do I, like, tell you to, like, give? Well, I mean, I guess I want you to eat your own tooth. I think tooth DNA, oh, it's one of the squirrels. Uh, I think tooth DNA is good DNA. Pretty sure it comes, okay, no, actually, the Lucinium coli uh, comes from the alien fruit, so that actually gives thicker legs and glossy sheen. I could have sworn that the alien fruit, I wish you could sort by the different kinds of fruit you have. Oh wow, we've only found 55% of the different gut flora? <gasps> you guys, we need to get behind our microscopes and find even more because that would be amazing. Aha, here's what I thought. So the Bactocalcia actually is from the baby teeth that the dogs drop. It's dense, dried, and fortified. It gives a glossy sheen, white coloration. So if we wanted to make lighter colored dogs, we'd use that one and it makes them bigger. That is so cool. So let's see, that's what the baby, oh, the baby tooth would do. And where the heck, where the, oh, somebody laid a capsule. <gasps> we have floorboards now. I'm so proud of whoever laid that capsule. I don't know which one of you it was, but everybody gets pets. Peppermint, you get pets. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, go in heaven giving vanilla pets. We'll pet little Crouton. Oh my gosh, Crouton just laid over on its side. I think Crouton really loves the pets. Uh, we'll go ahead and pet, there's a good puppers. We'll go ahead and pet, Um mint over here all right anybody doing anything interesting over here okay i think they're okay we'll turn on the little tv for them okay and, and yeet the dogs are just going yeet again but all right so we'll go ahead and breed celery today is my plan and make a bigger place for celery to be able to play and fill it with alien fruit i really wish that these plants would spread because i want to make every single one of these rooms kind of into a bit of a garden uh and then let's come what are you doing why are you, Crouton, you're just like spinning around, goofing off. <laughs> All right, uh, you're just spinning around and being absolutely precious um, and totally happy and content actually at the moment. Uh, and thank you guys for letting me know so many more tips. In fact, some of you have begun to send me some of your dogs in my fan mail, which I really love. I do plan on importing a lot of your dogs and I want to export a lot of our dogs. I wanna make the perfect 
caterpillar dog that's gonna be like all green maybe have like multiple tails that we can just pretend are just like a butterfly or something celery what are you doing i'm gonna praise you for whatever you're doing but i don't know what you're doing oh that's poop celery celery wait that's poop give all right we're gonna clean that up celery i know you're supposed to be eating the alien fruit because i think it makes you green all right are you doing something praise okay celery is shaking the object but getting closer to enjoying food but we're going to start with trying to make an amazing dog of greenery and green colors. And then we are going to start working on Project Rainbow. You guys, it hit me today when I was contemplating. Oh, praise, praise, praise for laying that capsule. Oh, Celery, I'm so proud of you. Oh my gosh, do it again, do it again. Celery, so freaking proud of you. All right, open that capsule. Boom! Pink rail dividers. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have some fun putting that down. Also, Peppermint, I'm gonna praise you for working just because I think you're adorable. Um, my goodness, that was very exciting. <laughs> yes, look, and they're getting all the good gut bacteria. Good job, you guys! I'm so proud of you two. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Uh, but all right, so... Oh my goodness, there goes celery. Like, yeet the alien fruit again. So, Project rainbow i want to unlock all of the different things we can do with our wonderful dogs which is quite a lot as you guys can see so that we can have all of the objects so that eventually we can have all of the gut flora dna so that we can make a rainbow series of dogs a dog that we feel represents every color of the rainbow i think that would be a fantastic long-term goal to have with our breeding because you guys love the wobble dogs i love the wobble dogs i can import yours I can export some of ours so that you all can play with them and I just love all of those ideas uh, also, also it looks like the puppers are playing downstairs too which is cute all right and what's going on oh my gosh crouton you're kind of cute just hoarding objects oh look little crouton made like a little hoard of of dirt and is just kind of like sticking it all in one spot so that's really cute because it's like they make a little nest of things. Also, thank you guys for letting me know how to name the different puppies, different things. So we're actually going to come over and we're going to go into the house and we can rename this crouton. And this crouton we have hidden away inside of a room to hopefully eat all of those chrysalises. Um, neutral, loaf, bagel, trouble, noodle, stub, spike, mud. Olive? No, let's go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and name this one Squirrel. So now we have Squirrel, and then we have Crouton. Um, Crouton's actually rude and high energy, so we'll have to see how that works out. But Squirrel, we're hoping, will grow up to have multiple legs, which is why the only food we're providing are these cocoons. Speaking of the cocoons, it's- oh, Vanilla, are you stuck? Vanilla. Did you sneeze so hard you ended up on your own back? Okay, that's adorable. That's absolutely adorable. Uh, but all right, so let's go ahead and check on mint. Mint is actually full of a whole bunch of really specific bacteria that hopefully will make mint bigger, a little wider in coloration, and have a glossier sheen. We're going to go ahead and mutate mint, and then maybe we'll try breeding mint and celery. We'll, we'll see how that works out. All right, let's clean that up. I might as well clean up these little piles. What are you doing, mint? I guess we'll just praise celery for sleeping. Um, go ahead. We're gonna pup bait. Ooh, and then we need to pet. Go as fast as we can. Hurry, pet the cocoon. Pet the dog cocoon. <laughs> this is so weird. I love it. And while we go ahead and wait for Mint to finish pup baiting and hopefully end up being the doggy that we're dreaming of, I'm gonna go ahead and move this fencing. I probably could redo... Oh, you could move the little dog dig holes? I didn't know that. That's really cool. All right, and we're going to go ahead and maybe rotate the TV. So I'm not going to be looking at it most of the time. And then, let's see. I need to make sure no puppers escape over here. It's kind of messy over here, but we'll just have to make do. All right, and then we'll go ahead and put another TV way over here for the puppies to enjoy if they want it. Uh, in fact, maybe we should put two different toys. I wonder, should I go ahead and put in the fan? It's kind of hilarious to watch all the pups get blown around by the little fan. All right, toys. We just have an industrial fan and a doggy vision TV right now. We need to unlock more stuff. We'll put a fan over here. There we go. 
And then we could clean up just like everything in one. Oh, who was that? In one go. Oh, look who it is. Oh my gosh, there's so much mutating. Tiny the second wants to go ahead and be able to have something to nom as well. Um, I'm going to throw just some bananas around here for the other dogs. They can eat what they want. I don't think since Bagel and Crumpet have they figured out how to feed themselves. Nobody's had onion rings yet. Oh, we'll have to work on onion rings, but next time. <gasps> Who laid the capsule? Was that Celery? Celery! Look at you bounce, Celery! Good job, lay the capsule! <gasps> Jungle ruins carpet! Okay, that sounds way too cool. I'm gonna have to put that down really quickly. I'm sorry. That's just, I can't pass that up. All right. Jungle ruins carpet. Yes, please. Ooh, dogs love mud? <gasps> Maybe I should give them... A little mud floor. Do you think they dig more if they have a mud floor to dig in? We'll have to see. Nice. Oh my goodness. All right, well, let's go ahead and hatch men, and then we're going to try to get more dogs here because you can have up to 10 dogs. So I want to start working on getting there. <gasps> Mint! Wow! Look at that glossy color! And those long, long back legs! Back top leg length has gone way up. Um, nose length is actually increasing. Nose size is decreasing, though, but glossy and beautiful. Oh, wow. Good job, Mint. All right, now we need to go ahead and collect this cocoon and throw it in as food for this little tiny one. Um, Mint, what are you doing? Scold for shaking the object that is celery. Mint, no. There we go. Okay, we scolded Mint for that, which I feel a little bad. Celery, look at Celery sit. Oh my gosh. Celery, I, I was trying to praise you for sitting. Mint! No. Don't grab Celery. That's rude. Okay, so now they seem okay. So let's do this, you guys! We do have one egg... Oh, three eggs! Since when have I figured out how to get three eggs? That's fantastic! Okay, so we do have three unfertilized eggs that we could be using. And thanks to Deck Pen, who's going to be our oology expert of our dog eggs. Oology being the study of eggs, by the way, and a real-life field of science that you, too, could go to university to gain. And um, we do know how to get more eggs. So we're we're actually going to have the ability to get a uh, cough cough roleplay donation cough cough cheat that allows you to get as many unfertilized eggs as you want but I want to try to like kind of pace ourselves so that we'll always you know you, you don't want to run ahead of ourselves we want to spend a little bit of time getting to know the dogs all right celery you're gonna come on in yeah we're gonna add celery in and then we're gonna go ahead and put mint in and let's see what we get if we breed these two all right here we go. Look at the pile of babies they might have. Oh my gosh, I love them. Apparently, one of the best ways to get some really weird stuff is to breed dogs. They do have longer noses, what? It, one of the best ways is to breed dogs that are really different from one another to get something different. But I think with celery and mint, we actually are going for like longer dogs. So let's crossbreed a couple dogs. I think this one and that one's really good. Should we go for a specific color? I kind of like this color. So we're gonna go with that one and this one because they're pretty green and we're gonna crossbreed them. All right, here we go. And you see how the simulation stability is still 99%? We're gonna try to push this really hard so that the stability goes all the way down to get really weird looking puppers. Oh, I think this is one of the longest long boys we've had. And then I like the green and the the eyes on this one. I don't know if the eyes have something to do with it, but this one back here actually looks a lot longer. Okay, we're going to go with this one <laughs> who's chilling at the back over there because we're going to try to get a bit of a long puppers. All right, go for it. Oh, they're getting so long. <laughs> All right, we're going to crossbreed again. And then we're just gonna keep trying to select super long puppers who are pretty green. And then we'll see if, oh my gosh, they're getting so long <laughs> with these tiny little heads. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's try these two. And you have to keep pushing it until the stability of your simulation just goes down and down and down. All right, let's try these. They seem really happy. 
Oh, look, we're starting to get colors we didn't have before. Okay, even though I know I said we wanted to go for green, we don't have any dogs who have that orange color. That's so exciting. All right, let's keep going. What else are we gonna unlock? Look, we have more of the orange color. Okay, that's totally new. And then, look at that face. This face is totally new. I think the, the snout is further down than usual. All right, come on. Pushing this harder, we're starting to get weird. Oh, that's really pink. All right, let's see. What, how do I wanna do this? I think I want you puppers. I do kind of think the pink puppers is interesting, but let's try these two. All right, going. Okay, we're starting to get kind of weird. We are starting to get kind of weird. Is it gonna be just the orange? <gasps> we have a tail! We have a huge tail! Oh my gosh, that's so exciting! Let's go for this puppers with the gigantic tail! Absolutely! And then let's go with this one who's starting to look kind of blue. Oh, this is what happens when you push. <gasps> we have blue tailed! Pink eared little fox like dogs. Oh my gosh. All right, dogs with the tail. Dogs with the tail. Let's go ahead and breed these two. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna go all the way to zero. If we can. Look at them. Oh my goodness. I didn't know that they had the like genes buried somewhere in that gut DNA for the tail. All right. Oh, look at this guy's face. Oh my gosh, he's so cool. He reminds me so much of Celery in a lot of ways. But his snout is totally different. Okay, we're gonna push this one last time. All right. Oh, but I really like this one, actually. Oh, should we push it one last time? Oh, but we already have such a different dog. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, one last time. Oh, we're getting into some interesting space now, friends. All right, so I think I'm pretty happy with this. We did not end up with a green dog because I totally just like chucked that to the distance. Um, in fact, can we get like one more layer of... Oh, tiny litter, we completed a new goal though. And here we are, it's our final dog. Here we go, you guys. Somehow we ended up with a big tail, really long legs. We have an extra set of legs! We have our first six-leg dog! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We have our very first six-leg dog! I also feel that maybe science does tend to go a little bit too far now and I still want to hopefully get a green puppers from celery one day um, But wow, that's a little unexpected. What did we unlock claim reward? Oh, we got a dog egg for having a tiny litter. Yay uh, That was an achievement we needed to do after all well then friends Okay <laughs> That totally did not go the direction I thought it would, but we have our first six light dog and they are kind of turning into a kangaroo. In fact, that might be what we named this new one is kangaroo and we're going to have to spend some time with them next time. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, so exciting. But all right, guys. So thank you so much for joining me as we continue with the very perhaps dubious experiments here with our wobble dogs. Good job, Celery. Good job. Good job. Eat that. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Oh my gosh, Mint, why are you so cute? <laughs> and if you guys could do, oh, I'm sorry, Mint, I'm sorry, I meant to pet you. If you guys could, do please leave a like for our wonderful puppers and our new six-legged dog, who I think I'm gonna name Kangaroo. And if you guys would like to, that's fine. That's fine, hey, Crouton. If you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious. Celery, how did you find the one spot you could escape? Ah, uh, no peppermint! Oh dear, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!